Hey guys, welcome to Back to the Future Episode 3, Citizen Brown, in which, yeah, weird things have happened. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure this is Citizen Brown. I'm pretty sure I clicked on the right one, but it's showing the icon for the uh, fourth one for some reason. Oh, no matter. Yes, show me some goals. Show me my goals. Now, when we left off, we'd saved the day in Hill Valley by getting Kid Tannen arrested and all this other fun stuff. That is some crazy hair. I kind of like it. And she's completely oblivious to us. Okay, yeah, this is the right way. Great. This is weird because it was showing the icon for the uh, fourth one on my uh, dash here, so. Did he died? Duck. Well, this is awkward. Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. The billboard broke my fall. I uh, use the door. It's jammed. The horn. What the hell? Hey. Could you give me a... Jennifer? That's Jennifer. This is the dumbest design ever. Jennifer, I need some help. Martin? It is you. Is that a DeLorean? Uh, well, yeah, it's a DeLorean. What else would it be? How the hell did it get into the billboard like that? Uh, never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? You smartass. Who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. What are you doing down there? Not that you'd ever understand it, but I'm doing my part to support the arts in Hill Valley. Anyway, what's the technical term for attempting to jump your DeLorean through a billboard? Where did you even get a DeLorean? Is it stolen? That's a little complicated. I bet. Can you help me down? Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. And? Really? You got any rope you can toss me? Uh-uh. All I have is this rusty wrench thing I found in the dirt. A tire iron. I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, back off, Martin. This is my whatchamacallit. What do you give me for it? Jennifer, you look so... different. That's the general idea of being a nonconformist. That's not what I meant. What are you getting at? What's with the attitude? I'm not having this argument again. You've argued about this before? I'm guessing you won the argument. Never mind, I gotta get out of this car. Good idea. May I please have the tire iron? The tire who? The big metal thing you're holding. Oh, 
Oh, right. As soon as you offer up a decent trade. Oh. Oh, man. What's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just, what's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year? 1986. Duh. Oh, man. Oh, man. This can't oh, my be God. happening. When I was in college, I knew artists that had that kind of an attitude. Like, she's sporting. Jennifer, please. This is serious. This tire thing really has some value to you, huh? At the moment, yes. Then it better be a pretty good trade. <laughs> Jennifer, you look so... different. That's the general idea of being a non-conformist. That's not what I meant. What are you getting at? What'd you do to your hair? Helter Skelter. What? It's the same hair dye I always use. What are you wearing, Jen? You look so... Fed up? Keen eye you got there. I was gonna say punk. A whole world alien to the likes of you, dork. Never mind. I gotta get out of this car. Good idea. I don't think she's going to help us. All right. Let me think this through. Don't strain your brain, Geekzilla. Wow, you're a bitch. Here, you can have this thing. Jennifer! This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Give me here. Uh, it smells like armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? Heads up! Thanks! Oh, great. Now what? Oops. Oh. Well, your dorkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? Doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. She's gonna take off. Jennifer, yep. wait! I told you, we're through, McFly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? Jesus, could this get any worse? Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, you asked. <laughs> what the fuck, Marty? Doc, I could really use your help right about now. Is there anything in the rectalarian that we need? Dead. May 15th, 1986. Yeah, the, the date's right, but... Well, that's not good. Balls. Um... Anything hey, else? This is the second time I've completely destroyed Doc's time machine. I just shouldn't be allowed to drive it anymore. Probably. How the hell do you get through these? Uh, check, check. Sibilance, sibilance. Who is this? Stop messing with the intercom. Oh, haha, <laughs> hi. Can you buzz me in? Visitors must check in at the north gate. Oh, north gate? I'm not walking clear around Hill Valley. There's gotta be another way.
Who the hell would want to live here now? Subtle. Real subtle, Marty. No, I don't want to go to the gate. Um... Seriously, Marty, you're not going to walk all the way around Hill Valley. These walls couldn't possibly go around the entire city, could they? Maybe it's just me and I'm kind of crazy, but I really... Personally, I would have uh, attempted to walk around the uh, the town, but that's just me. All right, so let's go check the time machine again. I don't think that's gonna buff out. I hope there's something salvageable here. I don't think that's gonna buff out. Well, at least one of the hover wheels work. Ooh. Okay, good. This could be useful. Now think, Marty, think. Now, now that it's off the car, it looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. What else do we have in our inventory? Um, I'm actually the same in this Valley one. crime at all-time low. No joke. Hmm. Is there anything else in here? I don't think that's going to buff out. Mr. Fusion? I don't really feel qualified to repair a nuclear reactor. Maybe it's still under warranty. Well, I guess technically it's way under warranty. Ooh, a battery. 12 volts. Wait, this is the car battery? Uh, must have been installed in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Still has plenty of juice. Let's see here. Red to positive, black to negative. Whoa! And there it goes. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Yep, that's a big hole. Okay, Marty. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of Biff clones. Just take a deep breath and remember, we gotta find Doc. You could be a citizen plus. Yeah, this is only, um, slightly creepy. So, so 
clean. Good morning, citizen. And a good morning to you too, citizen. What's going on here, Doc? Is this supposed to be a statue of bitch face? Uh oh. Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. My, uh, Mr. Parker. That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 Triple E. And you're not wearing an ID in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Polo shirt. Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up. Spread your legs. Hey, what are you doing? Quiet. Hold still. Hmm. Nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? Hey, what's with the pat down? What do you think? I'm packing heat? Heat? Contraband? Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble gum peanuts. Is illegal. Come on, McFly. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. Since when are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you on something? I've always been a cop. Just like my pa. Great, I've turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. Uh, can you tell me where I can find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right, working at the courthouse. Heavy. Alright, um... I've got to finish my beat. Are you gonna make trouble for me today? No. No what? No, sir. That's right, citizen. Oh, wait, citizen. Are you about to throw something away? Make sure you use the correct receptacle. Hill Valley takes pride in its diverse waste management system. What is the aluminum content of that can? Make sure it goes into the correct blue receptacle. Is that green, clear, or amber glass? It makes a difference. Remember that all consumable wrapping is tagged with a microchip to help us automatically police litter. Okay. You are standing in front of the Hill Valley Courthouse. The original courthouse was built in 1885, just 20 years after Hill Valley's incorporation into the state of California. Though the courthouse holds the seat of the local government, it also has been used as a shelter during the recovery period following the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Most of Hill Valley's community is a result of displaced San Franciscans planting roots after that dreadful disaster. In 1976, the downtown renovation project saw the first major additions made to the courthouse since its original construction. The courthouse was expanded with an additional 128 offices in the new flanking wings and a new mayoral office added to the original clock tower space. Look closely and you can still see some of the original courthouse's details preserved in the new international inspired facade. Attention citizens, after receiving petition to 
Yeah, right. Hill Valley Courthouse. How may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc, or uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but. Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That voice sounds familiar. It's probably because it's bitch face. Biff? Doc? Doc, wait! I need to talk to you. Well, that happened. Okay. I guess we can go try talking to Biff if he's over there. Having really? fun, kid? Yeah. Who said that? Attempting to destroy public landmarks is a violation of C-64. I wasn't trying to destroy it. Take your demerit. Fine, I'll take my demerit and I'll wipe my ass with it. Jackass. What's up, Biff? Biff? Hey, you're you're George and Lorraine's youngest, Martin, right? What? You don't know me? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running. Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? What is this Citizen Plus? It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program. And I'm the first of Hill Valley Citizen Plus. Uh, pluses. Plus I? A re-education program? What the hell? Please don't swear, Martin. It makes me uncomfortable. Nice clothes. You lose a bed or something? What do you mean? I'm wearing what everyone's wearing. It's Polo Shirt Thursday. You, my friend, are out of uniform. So I've heard. Yeah. Well, there's always tomorrow. Hawaiian Shirt Friday. Great. Listen, Biff. That car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ah, Doc. That should be his new nickname. But yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. You got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real butthead. You a butthead? No. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Too much trouble, what with the booze, the partying, the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. Pack, get it? Uh, yeah. What does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen Plus or Bust. That doesn't sound very, um... So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I really don't like dredging up the past. But, alright, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. Why'd your dogs get you in trouble? You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's wrong with that? Nothing, other than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. In fact, I'm ashamed to say it was my out-of-control dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs throughout Hill Valley. You don't sound very ashamed. Oh, I am. Very, very ashamed. So there's no dogs in Hill Valley anymore? Yep. 
Citizen Edna says they carry diseases and steal shoes. Should've known Bitchface was involved. What kind of trouble did you get into with women? They weren't hookers? No, no, nothing like that. It's just that I wasn't always discreet about my affections. What? Public displays of affection, Martin. You know, necking and such. That's illegal? Oh, yeah. You seriously got in trouble for PDAs? You bet. The Browns oh always God, say that behaviors that excite school. your privates like should school. be kept in private. Ugh. Or maybe it's just Citizen Edna who says that. You said something about booze? Beer, rum, whiskey, wine coolers, you name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it into Hill Valley too. Chip off the old block, huh? Used to be I'd knock your block off for a comment like that. But yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. So there's no booze in Hill Valley? Nope. Sure, someone tries to sneak some in every now and then, but cops like Officer Parker over there always catch them sooner or later. Yeah, let's let's change the subject. Thanks. I don't like talking about my old nasty self. I want to know more about Citizen Plus. And I just can't wait to tell you all about it. Oh God. Did I mention the swell digital watch you get with the program? So what's the point of Citizen Plus? Well, it may not be as noticeable for an upstanding citizen like yourself, but the hypnotherapy sessions help to tame the urges to break the rules. Whoa, whoa. Hypnotherapy? Well, sure, Martin. Why, it makes obedience automatic. Oh, obedience? God. This is some kind of brainwashing? That's a good way to think about it. Scrubbing all those nasty thoughts right out of your noggin. What do you got to do to be a Citizen Plus? It starts with an application. They take a complete medical evaluation and give you a stack of contracts to fill out. Uh, it sounds boring already. But then you get an appointment with Citizen Brown in about two years. Two years? He's very busy keeping Hill Valley running. The only time he deviates from his schedule is when some Looney Tune is running around racking up demerits. Fortunately, that almost never happens. You said you get some sort of watch. Oh, it's a real classy deal. Just look at this state-of-the-art ticker. It's got all so sorts if we just of keep throwing ourselves at the statue, in. we should probably I still haven't be figured out how to right set the left. time, but I'm sure a smart guy like you could do it no problem. It's voluntary, right? Sure, for the pilot program, but eventually it'll be mandatory for everybody. Mandatory? Are you nuts? Nah, I used to be nuts, but now, thanks to the Citizen Plus program, I'm probably the sanest guy in Hill Valley. I highly doubt that, Biff, but okay. whatever. Okay, let's stop talking about Citizen Plus right now. Okay. Do you think I could get to see Citizen Brown if I did all the bad stuff you used to do? I guess, but why would you want to act like that? So you won't break any rules anymore? Can't. The Citizen Plus treatment makes it physically impossible for me to break rules. How so? Now I get physically ill if I try to break a rule. How's your re-education holding up? Still incapable and uninterested in breaking the rules. Sure you aren't craving a beer? I do kind of miss beer. Uh, on second thought, blah! used to be a real bruiser. That's all behind me now. So what? You wouldn't even defend yourself? I don't know if I could, actually. Wuss. Oh, you're just aching to find out, though. Oh, oh god. Don't torment me. I can get used to this. Please, Martin. Don't make me angry. All right, Biff. You're off the hook this time. See you later, Biff. Bye, Martin! What's Jen up to now? Attention, 
Look around yourself. Breathe in the fresh air. Enjoy the immaculate scenery and architecture. You are standing among the denizens of the most sociologically advanced city in the world. Hill Valley, a perfect place to live. Let's take a moment to look up at the city's centerpiece, the courthouse, with its ornate clock tower. Look closely. Do you see a silhouette behind the clock? That's our beloved first citizen, Emmett L. Brown, toiling away on new ideas to make Hill Valley the city of tomorrow, today. Yes, a complete and total likeness. Free soy dog samples. Take one. Hmm, I guess they ran out. Hey, can't you read? Oh, it's you, McFly. Leech? Hey, hey, my bad. I should have wrote the sign in Latin, just so you'd understand. What sign? Outway to Unchle. Now eat it, bay, and let me catch some Z's. Leech and the whoosh bags. I've never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. Smooth jazz will be deployed Jennifer, in three, two, ten. one. <laughs> you got a problem? Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. What do you know about the Citizen Plus program? Only what I hear on TV, and the radio, and the newspapers, and the PA systems all over town. They want everybody to enroll, and they say it'll make us all happy and well-adjusted. Which is why I'm going to stay clear of it. Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm going to go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. So, Jennifer. Uh-huh. What do you think of me? I don't. Seriously, what have you got against me? I'm kind of popular, right? Very popular. Among a certain crowd. What crowd? Dorks. Marty McFly a dork? It's impossible. He can't be a dork. Okay, anyone who talks about himself in the third person is a dork. My mom and dad. What about them? Would you say they're normal? By Hill Valley standards, yeah. In other words, they're warped beyond repair. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really. This crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees? Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. What's the deal, Jennifer? You left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Look, I don't know what you got against me in this timeline, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kinda like you like this. Oh, uh, barf? 
So do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me, unless you want this spray can up your... No, no, listen, you got me wrong. I'm looking to, uh, break a few rules myself. You? Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think. But after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two-demerit offense. Go fig. What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend? Oh, lighten up. Do you know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Um, kinda, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. Never mind. On second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. Wuss. It won't be long before I see Citizen Brown. Hey, can I come with you? You want to see Citizen Brown too? Yeah. Maybe he can give me a heart when he gives you a brain. Couldn't hurt to ask. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah! Must be where Jen keeps her paints. Locked. <laughs> That junk looks awfully familiar. Fifty years familiar. Not interested. Well? That leads to the soup, Mo. Leech is in there. I'd rather he come out here. Block the doorway there. They bricked up the entrance to the old speakeasy. Um, I don't want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to. Go talk to Lorraine. Mom? Mom! But are you happy? Happiness is overrated, Lorraine. I'm content. Well, I'll think about it. Mom? Hi there, Martin. I saw you as I was driving in. Did you hear me honking? Mom, that can't be you. Martin, are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. It's just that you're so, so gray. Well, isn't that an uplifting way to greet your mother? Sorry, I just don't... Well, he could I have made other right comments. Though. I am going a little gray. No thanks to your father. So, what? Are you out here shopping or something? Oh, shopping? <laughs> Who shops anymore? No, it's that time of the month for me again. What? Uh, for my civic duty. I'll be polishing the statue all day. Oh. Oh, right. What's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. Uh, what about my truck? <laughs> no one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah, I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Could you do me a favor? I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Aren't they annoying? But Citizen Brown always says, a scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, could you be a dear and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. Actually, I... I know, uh... I know, dear. Love you too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. 
Don't forget to pick me up this evening. Creepy. Uh, yeah, sure. Right, so I had somebody come in, and I'm going to have to go now, but I think we've got a pretty good start here. So, um, I'll probably record on this more later. Because, uh, yeah, this is all really kind of weird. I'm not really sure what to make of it. I kind of want to punch Jennifer in the face, that's for sure. Anyway, uh, thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you guys later.